Okay, this is RoachColony.com and we're just doing a quick uh, review of uh, what our system is like. So this is our custom made shed. I love the lizard. We open it up. It has a set of blue PVC uh, draft proof curtains. So we're just going to push in on that. The first thing that greets us is Nim. Switch lights on. Well, where is she? Hiding. There she is. Hey, Nim. Right, so with roaches, uh, she actually loves these things. Sorry about the camera angles and the movements and stuff like that. It's probably going to get a little bit bumpier than it is now. So I'm just going to plong my camera on top of one of my roach bins, which we'll show you in a second. And I'm going to feed Nim. Now watch it. Watch this and see how excited she gets. Now I'm just off camera, rooting through one of the boxes. I'm just going to get a biggish, a large roach, dubia roach. Now, here he is, as you can see, quite active. As Nim can see, it's also quite active. Now, if I show, there she comes. Boom, gone. Just like that. He's fast. And it's gone. Let's give her another one, shall we? Okay. No, I should have really got two out when it had both hands, but never mind. Okay. As you can see, this is one. And dunk. Gone. Bearded dragons, I love them. She also eats butternut squash quite regularly. Right. Okie dokie. Now the tubs. So this is one of the uh, reserve tubs I have, I'm just having some butternut squash, I fed them um, earlier on. And this is another one, you see the vents in the top. I absolutely love them. And then there's that one over there, that one's got a breeding tub and that's a breeding tub. And this is one of my small tubs. So I'm going to take the top off. Let's have a look, see if we can find any little creatures. There we go. As you can see, there's quite a few. Rain, people say. Right, okay, okay. So, that is our new setup. Quite pleased with it. It took uh, about three months to, to make. It's fully insulated, fully heated with a, uh, a radiator down, down there, an oil filled radiator. And it's 89.4 degrees on the top corner. Lower down it's probably about 70 near the floor so you kind of get an average of about 80-85 at this level which is really what they need to breed very well. Now this is one of the tubs I've, uh, I've made earlier. It's uh, Blue Peter favourite. As you can see there's no roaches in there but I'll be sorting the adult uh, breeding pack out in the next few weeks and separating the babies which will then go into this tub. Yeah so uh, this is a, a new setup, and, and uh, it, it's quite—it's quite good. Um, it's quicker to to, uh, to package everything up and get it all sent out. And um, all our new boxes now have uh, these stickers on them. These are identifiable as our uh, deliveries, which is great. Anyway, any questions or queries, just anything around dubias, just uh, drop us an email in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. Great. Thanks very much.